Welcome to our Senior Business Leader interview series as part of Breaking Defense's AUSA coverage. I'm your host, Barry Rosenberg, Contributing Editor for Technology and Special Projects. Today, we are focusing on Army Electro-Optical Sensor Modernization and talking with Jerry Hathaway, Senior Vice President and General Manager of the Electro-Optical and Infrared Systems Business for Leonardo DRS. Jerry leads his team in the development and production of advanced mounted and dismounted sensor suites and robust targeting systems. The EOIS business has earned Leonardo DRS a reputation for providing innovative and life-saving electro-optical and infrared systems to the U.S. military for years now. Jerry, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Barry. You have a number of active programs supporting the Army right now, so let's talk about a few of them. One of your core products is for dismounted targeting is the JETS program. The Joint Effects Targeting System gives soldiers and forward air controllers a handheld device that is more powerful than previous technologies, is much lighter, and doesn't require a tripod to use. Why is JETS an important program for the Army? Well, the JETS uh, is the most advanced handheld targeting system uh, on the market today. It, it transforms the way the soldier uh, is able to call effects uh, and, in which uh, with more precision um, than they currently can today. Today, they spend a lot of time taking different technologies and overlaying the information, uh, which takes time to figure out uh, where they should be um, uh, launching the effects. Uh, and, and, and with JETS, they're able to do that within one single package with all the technology combined uh, and bring uh, those effects uh, with much more precision, much quicker uh, to the fight. A Leonardo DRS has a long history developing advanced weapon sites for the Army, including the See Around the Corner family of weapon sites individual. This technology is now being fielded and gives users the ability to acquire targets day or night and in smoke or fog. It significantly increases survivability and lethality margins on the battlefield. Tell us about that technology, Jerry. The, the rapid target acquisition uh, technology is really a game changer uh, for the military and the soldier. Uh, it takes uh, an average marksman and makes them a sharpshooter, and it provides an expert marksman the ability to perform their job from uh, the safety of different positions, uh, um, to your point, um, around the corner, uh, sometimes on their back, behind a log, uh, and uh, gives them that, that, that much more lethality uh, than, than they previously had. So, Jerry, did you develop this technology based on what the Army was looking for, or was it something being developed internally? So, it was uh, the development of the rapid target acquisition technology started about 10 years ago uh, in research and development. Um, but then quickly, we started working in conjunction with the Army, showing them uh, and working with them to model the lethality uh, and the quick reaction capability that they could um, have uh, with the integration of this technology. So um, it, it, was, it was really uh, uh, working together, I would say. We started production deliveries of the RTA FWSI uh, about a year ago. We're now currently producing over 1,200 a month to the Army. So it's a really big program and uh, we're excited to be part of it. You've also developed a similar technology for crew served weapons, correct? So we have integrated that same technology into the crew serve weapon uh, platform. Uh, that platform brings additional capability as well, other, other sensors to the fight, if you will, to, to again, continue to increase that lethality. So this, this brings not only an IR thermal channel, but it brings a color, color channel uh, to replace the ACOG and uh, that they would normally use. It replaces, it also has a, a laser range finder and ballistic calculator. So again, the intent here is to, to continue to increase the lethality and the precision uh, of, the, of the soldier. Your business has a strong commercial component to it, and that technology often finds its way into modernizing military programs. Give us an example of your latest commercial product that is being used to improve an Army program. So, so from a commercial standpoint, we have found that it's important to have these outlets uh, to be able to uh, weather the storm, if you will, from a you know, CR sequestration, things that, that are out of our control uh, in the marketplace. Um, but alternatively, the other benefit is, is it brings uh, the ability for us to reduce cost uh, to the military because we're able to sell in larger volumes 
uh, some of the key technology um, and then enhance it for the military. So it allows us to, to get reduced costs and improve investment uh, dollars uh, that we can, we can fund back in. The, we started off with our uncooled product family uh, because of the barriers to entry from a cost standpoint in our cooled uh, detector uh, detectors um, and sensors, but that, that is now changing. Um, the cooled sensor technology uh, due to the improvements that we've had over the last five years in size um, and in power and in uh, temperature, uh, operational temperature, has allowed us to now put together a cooled product uh, called the HexaBlue that uh, will, will, will be able to be used in um, all types of different handheld applications for gas detection, uh, for industrial applications, uh, for UAVs, um, and then uh, for, you know, obviously then there's complementary uh, areas in the military that that can be used. So again, we leverage the technology to gain the volume to give us the cost reduction and the investment um, for, for, both, for both cases. Good stuff. The other half of your business is providing mounted capabilities. What are some of your core programs active with the Army now? One, one of those programs is an upgrade program for the second generation B kit. We've had a long history in the second generation FLIR program from our Texas Instruments heritage. Uh, this uh, this uh, FLIR is used on all uh, Army ground vehicles today for target acquisition uh, and situational awareness. Um, that's being moved to a new technology platform called third gen technology, which is a two color platform um, that brings much more information and much more range performance to the battlefield. So we've been discussing some of your active programs. What does supporting the Army for the future look like in your business? Um, we, uh, as I talked about during uh, the discussion on the enhanced situational awareness, a lot of the things that the Army is looking for today is uh, multimodal. So while we, we in EOIS are a provider of advanced sensor technology, um, the, what the customer is looking for is us to take those sensors and tie them together with other sensors or other types, other capabilities um, to bring them the lethality and the precision they need. So things like um, AI, uh, GPS, uh, uh, things like digital readouts, uh, where we're looking for event-based detection um, and being able to take all that information in or all that data in and turn it into actionable information for the customer is what's important. So I've had the pleasure today to talk to Jerry Hathaway, Senior Vice President and General Manager of the Electro-Optical Infrared Systems Business for Leonardo DRS. Thank you for joining us, Jerry, and thank you for watching. I'm Barry Rosenberg. We'll see you on the next edition of our Senior Business Leader Interview Series. Thanks, Barry.